welcome all today in this session we are going to discuss about the debugging in java so first of all let me discuss about the agenda so first we are going to discuss what is code debugging in java second when debugging is required and third how to debug java code so first understand what is code debugging in java so debugging helps you in run your program code step by step in interactive mode means what happens that whenever you run your code simply you can run your code and you can get the output but with the help of debugging you can run your code like statement by statement or step by step and at every point of time at any point of time you can check what is the value of any variable and what is the value of any expression during the execution so you can identify the error also okay so now third thing we are going to discuss in this uh, you can say agenda when debugging is required so you can say debugging is required when you want to understand the flow of your program execution means with the help of debugging you can understand okay how your code is going to be executed step by step you can see the flow okay second thing is that if there is some problem or some error in your code you can like you can say logical error you can get that got error with the help of debugging so because with the help of debugging you just try to go each and each step one by one so at any point of time you can check what is the problem why logically it is not giving the right output so you can uh, uh, you can say identify the error easily now third thing is that how you can debug your java code first of all for debugging purpose you have to enter you have to add some break points in your code like you can say you can put some points and you can tell your you can say id that i want to start debugging code on this particular point or we want to start the debugging from this particular point or from this particular statement second thing is that you have to use few keys for your debugging purpose so you can say for uh, you can say shortcut keys are there also you can use f6 key to step over second you can use the f5 key to step into and you can use f7 key to step return here now we will see it practically so for example this is the code here and this is java code and you can see that what is the purpose of this code let me explain you uh, this code is written like uh, you have to take two numbers as input and calculate the sum and difference of these numbers and finally you have to get the product of you have to get the product of sum and differences okay for example if you have uh, if you have taken two input numbers like 5 and 3 so first of all you have to get the sum that is 5 plus 3 8 and then you have to get the difference that is 5 minus 3 2 and finally you have to get the product or you can say multiplication of these two things and means that is called you can say that will become 16 here so for this purpose already you have a class in your you can say project that is called calculator class and you have to call from these Uh, call the function from this class so i have written this code and let me see let's see that this is working fine or not and if it is not working fine how debugging can help you okay so first of all let me do one thing let me run and i will take the same example like i will give the input 5 and 3 and answer should be 16 here so let me right click and let me run it okay so now you can see here let me enter some number like let me take 5 let me enter and now i am putting number 3 here so you can say answer is 64 and you know that actually the answer should be 16 here it means it is giving the wrong answer wrong output so now how we can find it easily we can find it easily with the help of debugging let me show you the how you can make it debugging so for that purpose we can do one thing we know that uh, with the help of this uh, you can say line of code we are taking the input so i will do one thing i will start debugging from this point let me uh, double click on this uh, just put your mouse on line number 20 and make a double click you will see that a uh, blue ball is created there okay this is appearing here so this is called your breakpoint when i am putting the cursor here you can see also line breakpoint main class line but 20 so after putting your breakpoint you can decide from where you want to start debug your code or you want to uh, watch your code step by step that is called your breakpoint okay so now and same time if you want to uh, remove the breakpoint suppose take the example just simply double click on this okay so again you can put a double click to uh, just uh, put the breakpoint and if you want to remove just make a double click on that so now after that uh, usually we run this option right click run as so you can uh, choose this option debug as when you are going to make a debugging you can use this option as well as you can see here 
uh, from the top menu also, whenever you want to run your code, you use this button, this one you can say. And if you want to debug, you can use this option. This is the, this one, uh, this debug. So you can debug from here also. Okay, you can uh, choose the class for the debugging purpose. So I will simply do one thing. This is my main class. So I will make a right click here and I will choose the option debug as Java application. So when I will click on that, okay, you will see that it will show you a perspective. Okay, it will show you the, okay, okay. It will asking you the, you can say enter number. So let me put five. Okay, enter. Now I'm going to put the number three and let me put enter. Now you can say because it is running in the debugging mode. So automatically what will happen? It will, it will stop my execution at line number 20. And after that, I can move step by step here. Okay. So here you can see it is running. It is running. Okay, just go to the that point, you can see. Okay, now you can see that my, you can say my control is come to the line number 20. And now here you can see it is highlighted with this green turn. It means my program is, you can say paused here. And now we can uh, debug my code one by one. So for that purpose, you can use the shortcut keys also. And as well, you can see the, you can see the options are here, this one. You can say this is the one, this is second, and you can see here. So I will use the, uh, you can say shortcut key here. So first of all, you can say shortcut key for the step over is F6 means uh, it will take my control to the next line and this line will be executed. So let me, I can click on this one also, F6. So you can say my control is uh, now on the line number 22. And now you can see, you can do one thing. You can put your cursor on some and you can see the uh, output also, uh, the result of this server. It is giving eight. So we can uh, simply say that, okay, uh, we have given the output of, uh, you can say we have given the input five and three. So some should be eight. So it means uh, till the line where 20 code is running fine. So now control is 22. So again, we simply uh, do one thing. We can simply uh, say step over. So this time my control is go to the 24. It means line where 22 is executed. I will put my cursor on diff and here you can say it is giving the difference eight. Oh, we know that actually we have given the input like five and three. So difference should be, you can say difference should be actually you can say two, five minus three, but it, it is showing me the difference eight. It means something is wrong here. And that's why, because it is wrong here, that's why my control, when my control goes to a 24, it will again give me the wrong output because some is okay, but difference is also eight. So some and difference both are getting eight. So that's why if I will, uh, you can say, let me resume my code and you will see it is giving the answer 64 because some is also getting eight and difference is also getting that. So my problem was on line number 22. So if you want to, uh, if you want to get the error, if you want to get the reason for it properly, you can simply do one thing. Let me do one thing. Let me uh, debug it again. Let me write it and debug as Java application. So my control will again go to that point. And when my control will go to that point, uh, I will again start executing step by step here. Okay, so first of all, let me give the, you can say input five again. Let me give again three. And now after that, you can see my control is going to the line number 20. After that, let me debug. So uh, at this point it was right. So, but again, let me execute it. So I'm just using F6 here. So control is here, sum is eight. And at this line, I was getting the uh, wrong answer. So I can do one thing. It means uh, whenever it is calling the function call dot subtraction, it is giving the uh, something wrong calculation or any wrong output. So I can do one thing. Uh, instead of uh, step over, I will try to go into this function. For that purpose, we can use this, you can say option step into, or you can use the shortcut key F5. Whatever you want to use, you can use it. So let me click on that. When I click on that, you can see my control is going to the calculator class on this function. And here you can say uh, uh, on this line int c equal to a plus b. So you can say this, the function name is subtraction, but maybe it is a fault of the developer that he forget to use the minus symbol here in the function. He has used the a plus b. That's why it is giving the error. And you can see here, if I, uh, here, I want to go to the next line, simply I will do F six. So it means when I'm coming to here, what is the value of C eight? Actually, it should be, it should be five minus three, two. It means the bug is that this should be minus. And that's why this is giving the error. Now here, I want to tell you, suppose take the example you have executed and now you want to take your control, go back to your original main class. Simply you can use the third option that is called step return and shortcut E for this option is F7. So you can click on this one or F7. You can see when I click on that, my control is 
again here so i can do one thing let me do one thing uh, i can do one thing i have got the error so now let me simply resume uh, close this program and now let me do uh, you can say resolve the error so let me make it a minus b and now let me run so now we have with the help of error with the help of debugging you can see that you can go to the line by line you can go to you can uh, step over you can uh, you can go uh, into a particular function with the help of a step into and also you can return from any other class to the main class with the help of you can say uh, you can say step return here so now uh, i have just uh, identified the error with the help of debugging let me run it and see that now this time it is giving the right output or not so let me write you can say 5 enter let me put 3 let me enter and now here you can see we are getting the right answer so with the help of debugging like using these shortcut keys you can get the answer okay so uh, whenever you are uh, you can say in the debugging mode you can do also also one thing in the debugging mode you can see the breakpoints other thing also so for example this thing you can see in the debugging mode uh, you will get the breakpoint option also okay so now with the help of this debugging i think uh, you can debug the error at any point of time and also let me show you one thing also let me show you debugging again and let me show you few other some side so right click on and let me debug as and in java so i will show you what other features are available while debugging here okay whenever you debugging let me again give five okay i'm running it because uh, you have choose it uh, uh, to run it from there so five and again i am giving the number 3 here Okay, now my debug control is on this line, and now let me show you with the help of you can say uh, F six. I'm going to the step over, and here you can see that here you are getting the variable name. Also, you can do one thing if you want to get the if you are putting your cursor here, you can get the variable value summate. Again, if you want to get the uh, this whole expression, select this whole expression, right click, and you will get the option here. watch or inspect with the help of watch and inspect also you can uh, check the you can say uh, values uh, on this particular line so if you click on inspect you can see here you can see it is saying that cal dot addition actually this whole expression is giving the value 8 so with the help of that you can also get the uh, you can see the value of that other thing also you can say we have the option of you can inspect we can also see the watch also when you can see the watch also you can see that it is showing the in a proper expression format like cal addition is value so you can use the option of watch you can uh, use the option of this one also and if you want you can use the option of display also with the help of display you can say that it is showing you the int equal to 8 so using this watch display and inspect you can get the value of Uh, that particular expression or that value and in simple way you again if you want to go into that function so what i told you if you want to go into uh, in a particular function you can use the option step into here so now we have go step into here and if you are whatever you want to do if you want to uh, execute your control here like uh, line by line you can do it and whenever you want to come back to your original program you can simply call this shortcut key step return So it will come. So you can say control is it. Now, if you want to debug in the for, you can say next direction. You can simply say steps. Uh, uh, you can say over. It will take you. If you want to, if you suppose take the example, you got the error. Uh, the, you got the reason for the error. Now you don't need to execute it. You can say step by step. You can simply click on this one. That is called resume, and it will uh, resume the program in a simple manner, and will uh, you can say complete the execution. Now you can see it completed the execution, and you got the answer. so in this way using this debugging feature you can debug and uh, you can identify and understand the flow of your program as well as if you are getting error you can inspect at any point of time okay so now uh, you can say if you like this video you can click on the like button if you have not subscribed my channel till now you can subscribe it and please don't forget to click on the bell icon to get the notification about my upcoming video thank you